everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today, boom! As you guys can see, we got some brand new stuff to talk about, so without further ado, let's dive into Vigilante's notes. Vigilante being a member of the Kafir team, he went in and actually dropped some info earlier today into the Discord, so let's dive in. He initially joined the chat to make sure the post on LDOE about no longer supporting iOS 8 or lower was clear among the community, so in case you guys did not see, if you guys have ios 8 or lower you do need to update that to at least ios 9 uh, moving forward last day on earth is only going to be supporting ios 9 and up on the uh whatchamacallit on like apple devices and whatnot because that is going to be able to help them with development and he also talked about how the map change update is going to come as soon as possible they are just finishing up the final touches meaning that it is close baby and given the fact that the weekend's already here and for the most part kafir does not really post stuff on the weekend uh, knowing this type of stuff i would guess early next week mid next Next week is when we could expect this or just in general sometime next week by the looks of it and not only is the map gonna be changing there are gonna be additional changes along with that as well so very interested to see what this is that vigilante is talking about if you guys have any ideas feel free to let me know we'll dive into that a little bit deeper once we finish going over his notes because the new roadmap is also in progress it does take some time to complete i have seen some people talking about that so i think there's just vigilante addressing that like yeah we are getting that roadmap put together so you guys can know what to expect and kind of like a general timeline for the future the devs understand players are unhappy with raids and leave it to the game designers if they want to change it or not so kind of really not, uh, doesn't answer much they're just saying like hey we the developers we understand players are unhappy but we're gonna leave it up to the game designers if they want to change it or not so literally telling us nothing so thanks thanks for that i guess the energy cost to travel locations will be adapted when the map changes they didn't say if that was going to be good or bad most likely it might just change because some locations are going to be shifted around like the motel for example i do know that i think the gas station is going to be moved around some stuff like that the devs have also heard the players feedback on the witch raiders task and it's up for the game designers to implement if they want to keep or remove it so again just a total non-answer i'm really not pleased with these two at all especially because it's kind of confusing because they're saying the developers have heard the feedback with the game designers are need to implement it like at the end of the day aren't the developers like and the game designers kind of the same thing isn't like in, is unless i'm getting my terminology mixed up here i'm pretty sure like game designers and developers kind of like fall under the same umbrella so just some really weird statements here regarding stuff that we the players are unhappy about and hopefully they do decide to go forward with those changes but I guess we got to see and storing items in Bunker Alpha and Bravo should be fine before this update. So awesome stuff to know over there. So again, if you guys do have stuff within some of these bases, like uh, like the side AI base, it's just a heads up that you guys may want to get your stuff out of there because I believe that they are going to be like changing your stuff. If you are storing anything within these may disappear. So make sure that you go ahead and get that stuff out of there. A little bit of a PSA for all of y'all guys out there. And boom, I actually want to go back over this piece of info that got released earlier in the week because i've actually seen an interesting point popping up from some of your lads and lassies so within this info was where they were talking about the global map and how it's going to undergo some changes in the next update and then they said why to allow us to add more events without worrying about free space and you know what else they brought up in some kind of an info drop i can't recall exactly one but i do remember them bringing it up in an info drop i think it might have been one of the times that cloud dropped some notes when he popped into like a discord chat cloud being another developer another part of the Kafir team. I remember he popped in and he mentioned that they are contemplating bringing back the shipwreck event and the smugglers camp event two prime locations that could reappear with the global map especially with that info that dropped today from vigilante saying that not only is the map changing there will be additional changes as well so it's all kind of coming together and given the fact especially that the shipwreck and smugglers camp technically already exist like a lot of the assets like they've already been created and stuff in the past and used as events so it'd probably be very quick to kind of like redevelop them and just kind of like bring them up to date since for the most part most of that event is like just going to be similar so the fact that they are spacing out this map to add in more events not only means that there might be more events coming within the future but also that with this global map update there might be events immediately accompanying it as well and potentially the return of the shipwreck and the smugglers camp could be coming along with that I'm, I'm just gonna say i would love to see that because if you guys do not know those are some of my favorite favorite events that we have checked out within the past and i was beyond bummed when they just got removed and all the time put into those events developing those events doing all that type of jazz 
like just went straight to poop i was kind of a little bit bummed to hear about that so it's kind of i'm i'm a little bit happy to hear that they're kind of you know br potentially bringing them back in this sense because i would love to see those two return because then i mean they've been developed in the past i just hate seeing stuff go to waste you know maybe that's just me but I don't know. And also here over at uh, Watch McCall, we are going to be taking down some flota blotas and stuff. Hopefully people decide to help us out instead of just running away in usual Sector 7 fashion since we got to go and kill some of these guys for today's quest. And what do you know? No one's interested in killing zombies. Oh my god, I am dying though. Oh, and my game's trying to lag at the very worst time. So we'll go ahead and continue killing this fella. But let me know what you guys think regarding the return, potential return of the shipwreck and the smugglers camp events with the inclusion of this update because I do think that that it is definitely the stars are starting to align and this could definitely be some interesting jazz that we are seeing here ladies and gentlemen boys and girls so go ahead and let me know in that comment section down below and remind that that comment is going to put you one a third of the way it's a week at tribe data at two such place store gift card giveaway all you got to do as well is make sure to like button and make sure to subscribe that will let you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information such as that which is coming out today because as soon as any type of new info is coming out we are diving headfirst into it breaking it down connecting the dots with information and stuff that we know from the past to give us the clearest look at the entirety of the future of last day on earth what is to come what to expect within future updates all that type of jazz as always and yo anyone want to help me fight this blota over here anybody at all no everybody wants to run in usual fashion but we're always staying up to date with that info and breaking it down not to mention as soon as a type of new update comes out we are diving headfirst into that bad boy as well showcasing absolutely all that it has to offer doesn't matter how expensive it is how much of our loot we got to blow through none of that jazz matters because we oh mom let's make sure that we heal we're starting to get a little bit low on health over there we're going to be checking out those updates to their fullest extent any new locations new bosses new items whatever it might be it's getting shown off and that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway which is coming to a conclusion this saturday so feel free to enter in on older videos if you guys have not yet already and i gotta go and get some band-aids and we gotta find some more band-aids too i'm starting to run a little bit low but you guys go ahead and enter in on older videos as well if you have not already throughout the week because tomorrow we're gonna be picking that random video for the past week picking a random comment from that random video and that would be the winner for the past week's giveaway and that new giveaway will be kicking off tomorrow in tomorrow's last day on earth video and that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well such as that life after series which a lot of y'all are liking so yeah hope you're looking forward to it and ooh la la that's already been looted yeah i definitely expected that you are fighting someone oh no oh, hello my friend would you like to help me fight the bloater uh hopefully because if not you're about to get spit on my dude okay actually i'm, I'm leaving the situation too this is really bad and he does not seem interested in helping so bye bye not going to oh no 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 yeah. deal with that one but yeah i also want to go ahead and give you guys a heads up that we are actually about to be going out on spring break as well so because of that we are not going to be in our usual recording studio so just want to give you a bit of a heads up if we sound at all different during the next week i'll leave that for someone who needs those boots i'm more than willing to pay it forward i only want what i need you got what i want yeah. And I need it. I think I messed up that sock already. And we have this runner on us. And I don't really have much peace though left. So I'll just go to another zone and whatnot. But so yeah, if we do sound different at all throughout the week. And if uploads are a little bit sporadic. Just want to let you guys know that is why we're just going to be in a little bit of a different situation. So apologies about that. But going to be doing everything in my power to keep Last Day on Earth daily. And have other videos going up throughout as well. But with that said, we have a lot of stuff to freaking uh, hopefully the ashy spitters and bloaters to attack but so far sector seven's been mean to us and we've had to do it all by ourselves which has uh not been fun i, I would like to have friends throughout these shenanigans and this guy oh he's about to have a fun time i'm gonna let him deal with that by himself there there you go but oh my god he left the spitter okay beautiful now i could go back so i'm gonna go ahead look for these revolvers try to kill these enemies and then we will regroup because we have a floppy disk to claim today ho 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 and to go along with that we also as per usual have some daily rating shenanigans lined up as well so i will regroup with you guys when we're a little bit closer to having these quests done and talk with y'all and it's like and after having today's shenanigans completed we are now one step closer to the fabled 
tactical backpack which trust me I cannot wait for lads and lasses but here's what we need to do right now we need to go home we need to grab the disc of the floppiness then we go to the bunker then we put in the disc of floppy into the bunker of alpha and then the locations of coordinates will be revealed to us with some ever so marvelous floppy disc coordinates awaiting us so within a couple of seconds we will be arriving back at the place that we call home we will go into the depths of our base grab up that floppy disk we got from just the other day and commence in today's looting and here we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the disc of floppiness that is about to bring us immense happiness along with all of this jazz up in here we are up to one c4 bless up for that baby that c4 is uh i think it should be enough for today's raid so bless up for that because today's been a little bit of a rush today apologies about that especially if this video is a little bit on the shorter side as well because i'm just trying to get as many videos ready as i can before we do need to leave uh tomorrow morning actually for uh whatchamacallit to uh drive back home uh, for spring break since spring break like i was talking about earlier is commencing over here for mind college and uh yeah so i gotta dedicate a bunch of hours tomorrow towards transporting myself home and some stuff home too but uh the computer and stuff is not going to be able to follow as well which is Bwah, bwah. but yeah for that reason i am just trying to get as much stuff done as possible i'm trying to get as many videos ready for you guys while we do still have the dope setup over here with I, absolutely the best mic i have in my arsenal so if we sound a little bit poopy like i'm saying that is because uh we will not be using as high quality of a mic and setup and whatnot but no worries we will be returning to wonderfulness shortly in the meantime we will be putting in the floppy disk into the coordinates over there we will be running away from that location terminal thingy bob and now we go back into the elevator that will take us to the floor of well it's not really a floor it's taking us back towards um whatever you want to call this place not the lobby the frick ground floor i guess i, I guess i'm just kind of confused since the elevator doesn't go up it goes down you know how the ground floor is usually like the bottom floor um, well it, it, this is a bunker it goes opposite so maybe the the ceiling floor yeah we'll call it the ceiling floor and a schmello to you my friend i will drive over to everyone's favorite a floppy with coordinates location and we are ladies and gentlemen boys and girls about to be bringing home with us some very valuable loot or an infected box i'm hoping it's the loot though i'm not a big fan of the box because i mean the loot's pretty similar and both of them guarantee 2c4 which i'm cool with and god dang it i'm a schmelly boy so we got these dudes all up in our case get out of your abomination I'm not trying to deal with you at the moment or your rope collecting bootay is for some reason toxic abominations love to collect rope i they just have a passion for it you know and oh by the looks of it is this one infected no it's looking pretty normal all righty then well we got a little bit of loot god dang it accidentally killed a deer i hate when a deer just accidentally walks near you and all of a sudden you're like must kill deer is the closest moving entity my, my guy's cold-blooded man get out of here fast biter you're cold-blooded too but for a different reason um you're literally dead do zombies have blood they have to, right? Something like that. I don't know, but my smelly butt's opening up this crate and no way, me, no way, me, no way. Me. Give me the scar, give me the scar, give me the scar. Actually, one of the worst crates I've gotten. I'm not gonna lie. The gun we got out of this is an AK. Are you serious, dude? This is the same type of crate that's supposed to have grenade launchers and scar H's. And you're giving me not even a modded AK, an AK-47. Okay, game. Okay. You do you while I go ahead and grab the other wonderful things you have decided to have in store for us, including some C4 to help us with our raiding endeavors. And I will also go ahead and put those things away. And I'll just pick up this for the time being. Uh, I mean, this thing's going to be around for 12 hours. So I'll probably just walk over here after the video as well and grab the rest of the things over there. We are not leaving things behind. No worries, lads and lassies. I know that that is always a hot topic every time I do not fully grab something so no worries we, we got time baby we got time we'll be returning but right now we got to return on home with some of this loot freshly stored within our inventory 
and we need to plot an attack on Naiva. And then, actually, we do have an airdrop we could visit right after as well that might have a couple of things here or there for us. And I'm never one to turn down the things. Doesn't matter if it's a couple or a lot. Dude, I love every time because I just accidentally died here one time from thirst because I think I had to, like, run to the bathroom really quickly. I came back. I was dead. Every time we spawn in now, our body's there. It just looks like I freaking... I drove over a random dude. I drove over my mechanic, man. Feels bad. I accidentally ran him over for the fifth time this week. But I'm going to go ahead, put this jazz away, and commence raiding. In a bit. And the time has come for us to commence with the fun. First things first, let's just make sure that we go ahead and toss some more stuff into there so our recycler can continue being a hard at work. And then we could go back up into here. Let's add some C4 to the arsenal that our chopper is carrying around at all times. Let's go ahead and actually fill up on that gas over there. We will put the empty Vata bottles away. And you guys can see that... Uh, um, I might end up, uh, you know what we might end up doing? I might just bring this. I'll bring the partial durability one. I'll put this one pistol away. And with that safely put away, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we must do the most important thing that everyone needs to do. Make sure that their water is getting filled up. So now that our water supply is nice and safe and not at all in danger, let's get these level one hatchets crafted up and iron hatchets so we could go and put someone else in danger or i should say a copy of someone else in their base in danger since we never raid anyone else and we're always raiding a copy of their base and using that knowledge and uh, did i craft up uh, okay 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 I, I, I thought i didn't my goldfish memory kicking in let's go ahead and craft up the iron hatchets that we need for today's endeavor as well and on to the chopper we go let's just uh, hold up here just gotta go ahead and uh, beep 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 sorry about that i had to back it up yeah yeet and let's go and start getting out of here and onwards to naive ha dude i just i just like it kind of reminds me of the word naive but with an h instead of an e so naive ha naive ha naive ha we attack naive ha now <laughs> Hopefully he's got a little bit of some decent stuff in store for me because if you know me comrades, I like the loot. I think this is pretty well known fact amongst everybody and hopefully if all goes well today, we will get more of the loot, which is a win-win in my book. Uh, okay, 20 tin cans. Not that bad. That's probably a couple of aluminum right there once we recycle it. I will take that. Uh, oh, this base comes with the wall. Ow, already stabbed already broken in so okay oh wowzers yeah speak of the devil remember when we were talking about the rating system earlier uh i'm looks like we got a pretty lackluster base here wow well okay let's see what there's actually within like okay we got some oak like not gonna lie we got some kind of decent things here but i think this is gonna be a quickie since we don't really need to break down any walls we literally just need to break chest so hey straight to the point absolutely direct not too shabby i that that last chest we broke into though pretty freaking shabby i do need to give that that title oh mom we got all the fast fighters coming after us now and starvation my worst enemy there are the beans i need the beans to help me through this time we all know that the beans are the king of hunger i just gotta take a couple of these dudes down along with us hit them with a slow mo and a couple more bullets in we're good to go we brought the jikey, so it ain't nothing too bad to worry about. And we also have that saw blade mace we could toss in there already. We got four more chests at our disposal. And all that we got to do is break this wooden working bench along the way. And we should have access. Absolutely nothing in there. But here lies the better chests, which I don't mind. Okay, a little bit more oak. Like, it's honestly for a, for a base raid that literally costs us honestly you don't even need oh okay i, I have a four base raid that oh mom i hear them i hear them coming oh she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes she'll be coming right at star when she comes oh my god we're getting swarmed that's all good we should have enough pistol drizzle to take these dudes down which is always a good sight because wowzers we got cornered up in there pretty quickly and uh, we could put some stuff away yeah i'll eat a little bit of jakey think that's on my smorgasbord of things to do but you could literally do this raid you don't even need iron hatchets literally just level one hatchets like this one that we're swinging right now oh mama raid i'm gonna be completely honest i'm very sorry for trashing on you 
This is one of the better no C4 raids I've gotten. Like, I've gotten, like, I remember there's that one insanely good no C4 raid we had that one time, but. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, this one's standing up pretty nicely in the grand scheme of things. And, uh, workbench doesn't have anything special, but. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, uh. I like what I'm seeing, game. Let's go and try to put some of these goods away now. Uh, we gotta put away the most valuable stuff since we did get this raid from the raiders. Uh, I think that they value oak pretty highly. And so definitely up there on the list. Same with the electronic circuit and probably some of those decent durability pistols might be good to store as well. Which should leave us with some more inventory room. I think that we'll end up putting away that. I'll leave these hatchets with us for now. If we need to ditch them for something better, I'm game. But if not, I mean, I'm always just trying to get rid of the worst hatchets first when it comes to us, like, clearing house. But, yeah, this is actually one, like, a... Oh, god dang, I didn't mean to start freaking chopping. All right, hold on. I'm gonna trade that in. I'm gonna trade that in for the one that didn't just chop at a wall for no reason. Uh, we got a zip gun, too. That could be kind of decent to pick up. Uh, some gas. We could definitely put that away, actually, in a jiffy. Always good to grab some cameras. Could scrap those pretty nicely. Grab a couple other materials here and there. And... Uh, meh, 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 meh. I'll eat your beans. I'll drink your drink. Thank you for offering. Uh, oh, mama, I'll spread this vitamin P too. Yo, for the low, low cost of no C4, at the very least, I'm happy to give you a tip. Uh, a tip of vitamin P. No type of monetary tip or anything like that, though. And... Yeah, I, I mean, from what I'm seeing here, I, I think this, this raid's pretty decided. We could go and take a stack of that. It's not the worst thing in the world, and let's just go and put this gas away. We'll come back, grab one more thing from one of these chests, and then most likely wrap up this surprisingly good raid. Like, at least this is what I'm happy. Like, if you give me a no C4 raid and it's decent like this, I can't complain. Okay, but it's when no C4 raids are just total poop, or even, uh, whatchamacall, when no C4 raids are absolute poop, or when, like, C4 raids don't even get you anything, those are the worst situations. And honestly, this is this is doable. Okay. Is it the best loot in the world? No. But I mean, for what we paid, our our return is looking pretty nice. I do need to give it that. And we'll go ahead and grab another stack of that, I suppose. And we'll just leave those four hatchets with us, because there's nothing else that's really tempting me to get rid of them for the time being so let's go ahead and get the hell out of dodge because we are done with it and we got an airdrop to go ahead and hit up and as we are hitting it up that's gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up for this episode of last day on earth survival as well wish you guys nothing but the best of luck in the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron best of luck being your pup again the true friend perk level up your own perks and skills not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of Look, building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you, and getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan for fantastic time all throughout. Not to mention, best of luck at that $25 i2 such place for a gift card giveaway concluding tomorrow, and a brand new one kicking off then as well. And oh, hold on, do we got not too shabby at all? Goodbye to you, Mr. Hatchet, and I'll just go ahead, I'll eat up a little bit of food and grab that iron instead well best of luck to you guys with that and can't wait to hear what you guys gotta say in that comment section down below regarding some of the events we could expect in this revamped global map and what you guys think about the fact that it's kind of setting up nicely for a return of the shipwreck and the smugglers camp two events that i know all of y'all that played it back then were definitely fans of they're actually some fan favorites from some of those ogs still playing the game so uh, i know that personally i would love to see it and i think that you guys would as well but that's gonna go to wrap it up for me for now thank yeah, guys, a whole ton for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.